Hello, this is Craig. This morning I'm going to show you how to scan a photograph um, from a scanner. So I have my Epson scanner hooked up and I've opened my um, Epson scan software. And in here you have relatively uh, few options. I have, always have set this, or I always set this to professional mode. And in here you have some options, I guess, um, not too many, but we want to do reflective because we're not doing film. We want to scan from the scanner glass, and we want to or say that it's a photo. As far as color, I would stick with 24-bit color, and if you have a black and white photo, you certainly can do 16-bit um, grayscale. Black and white is for true black and white when you have a piece of black and white line art, like a logo or something that has an extremely high contrast, or basically it's just black or white. So we'll use 24-bit color today. We'll leave the document the original size. I like to use their um, automatic settings as auto exposure. I think that the Epson scan software, for me, it gives me better results on the initial scan than, say, Apple's image capture. So that's why I, I prefer Epson scan. Um, it works well with my scanner, too. So I place the photo inside of the scanner, face down on the glass, and I will click Preview. Preview will give me basically an overview of everything on the glass. So you can see I have a, <clears throat> a photo here of the, the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. And I am going to select just the area. If I were to click scan right now, it would scan the entire bed of the scanner. I don't want to do that because it would take too long and the, the file would be huge. And then I would just have to edit it in Photoshop. So I'm going to just select the part that I want. And I'm just going to select around it, pull this out a little bit. If you grab the corners, if you grab the corners, you can move two corners at a time. If you grab the side, you can move just one side at a time. So since this is crooked in here, I'm going to select some of the white background. Now with all of my settings set up, I will click Scan. And it will ask me how I want to save this. Whenever you scan something, um, well, for starters, I'll save it to the desktop. That's where I like to find it. Uh, the prefix down here, I want to uh, scan as a TIFF. A TIFF will give you more information as a JPEG, and it's not compressed. So I'm going to type in TIF up here. So the prefix is a, uh, um, I'm sorry, so it'll be a TIFF. And I'll click OK. Now it's going to go through the, the scanning process shouldn't take too long. You can see it already popped up on the desktop. Um, now, if we look back, we look at resolution here. The resolution's a little bit low, so I really would prefer something about 300 to 600, depending on how you're going to use this. So I'm going to bump this up to 400, and most magazines, um, printed material, brochures, flyers, you'll want at least 300 resolution. I'm going to go 400 because there's a chance I might want to enlarge this. And when I enlarge it, I want to have enough resolution to do that. So I'm going to I change that from 100. All the other settings are the same. My marquee is still the same. I'll click Scan again. All the defaults are preset in here um, from the last time I did it. I should say Save, not Preset. I'll click OK, and it will scan it again. Notice how it's saving it. That prefix is TIFF and then a number. See how many scans I've done in the last maybe year or so. So now we're done with the scanning. And it shows up over here. This shows the scan. It shows the white background that I put inside of the marquee. And from here we would take this into Photoshop, which we'll do in our next tutorial video. We'll take it into Photoshop, um, level it out, and clean it up. So, that's scanning with the Epson scanner. Thank you. I hope this was helpful.